Canes are frustrated right now. You can feel it. Uh, they feel hopeless. They don't feel protected. And, and I think that uh, that the Bureau needs to uh, to do some soul searching here. And that's what the study is all about. I think I think the Bureau uh, wants to better tool itself for the future. By now, most Canadians are used to the sticker shock that comes with buying even just a loaf of bread at the grocery store. Now Canada's Competition Bureau will be looking at the groceries market to see if more competition could help bring prices down. There's nothing wrong with consolidation or oligopolies. The challenge, of course, is to see other plays around it uh, that would be able to compete. And we've actually eliminated many of them. And those are independent grocers. Sylvain Charlebois says Canada has seen the grocery sector consolidate over the years, with fewer big corporations taking over a bigger share of the market. Charlebois says America has taken a very different approach and has been able to force competition in some cases. The oversight in, in the United States is completely different. Kroger is trying to buy Albertsons right now in the U.S. and they have to sell off bits of the company to create a rival to itself uh, in order to get the deal through. NDP members welcome the move from the Competition Bureau. New Dems were able to get the Agriculture Committee to investigate food prices while also getting the House to unanimously pass a bill calling on the Competition Bureau to investigate. While the Bureau will be performing a study, not an investigation, the new Dem agriculture critic says. I'm looking to complement their work and to look at ways that we can eventually perhaps strengthen their mandates so that they're in fact meeting the demands that Canadians from coast to coast to coast have for their parliamentarians right now. The Competition Bureau study starts this month with a deadline for written submissions set for mid-December and a final report to be published next June. In Ottawa, Shao Lee, City News.